Well, today we're talking about the Rode VideoMic Go 2 and why I decided to buy one, even though I already have a VideoMic NTG and a Rode VideoMicro. Well, hey, what's up? My name is Tony and I'm a filmmaker photographer in the St. Louis area. If you don't know who I am, I do a lot of wedding videos. I do a lot of event coverage. I do a lot of family portraits, pictures, kind of split right down the middle with photo and video. But if you know anything about video, audio is just as important, if not more important than actually the framing that you have. So uh, when it comes to microphones, I'm always, you know, really just kind of looking for the best deal and the best microphone that I can use for capturing ambient audio. Now, if you want to mic up somebody like we're in a situation right now, sticking this microphone or any of these microphones on your camera three feet away is not going to work that well. You need to have your microphone pretty close. But if you're recording a large room and you just need some kind of ambient noise, maybe you're going to use some natural audio in your video, uh, these microphones are just indispensable. And so that's one of the reasons why I decided to pick up this this new Rode uh, Video Mic Go 2. Now, just a disclaimer, I did buy this and I also purchased the additional windscreen for 29 bucks. So uh, Rode didn't send these to me. This is uh, this is something I decided to purchase myself, but uh, I really wanted to because I've just noticed the value of having these microphones laying around. So, uh, First reason, let's just talk back a little bit. The first mic that I ever bought from Rode was the Rode Video Mic Original. And uh, I had so much stinking trouble with that microphone, but there was no other microphone like it. It was a passive microphone, meaning you didn't have to power it. It, uh, you just stuck it on the camera, you plugged it in and away you went. And that was very convenient. Uh, then they came out with the Rode Video Micro, which I picked up and I have been using this guy forever. I just absolutely have loved this microphone. And for 60 bucks, it's incredible. I have caught just a ton of uh, audio, natural audio with this microphone. Uh, then they've come out with a couple different ones and uh, I picked up this Rode Video Mic NTG thinking that this is kind of the upgraded version of the micro. And what I realized is I just don't need all of these extra features that are on this mic. It adds weight to my kit. It didn't come with the windscreen and I didn't really wanna buy the extra money after paying like 250 bucks. And the biggest thing for me is that I had to make sure that this thing was charged. And so I ended up just not really using it or the features that it had but I'm always looking for more microphones because I use lots of different cameras and uh, I wanted to get a camera or a microphone for some of my second shooters that they can use. And so I decided, why not? Let's go ahead and pick up the Video Mic Go 2 to see how it is. Now, if you're familiar with the Rode, they've kind of progressed in their looks and their shock mounts and different things like this. And I feel like this one has incorporated a lot of the newer generation style that Rode has incorporated. One of which the shock mount has two shock mounts opposed to just the one like the Video Micro keeping the microphone from flapping like the Video Micro did. Now it's not a huge deal, but I do like having this shock mount uh, just with the two braces to keep it a little bit stronger. Also, this capsule looks a little bit more professional. I really like the look and feel. It's very light and uh, it's, it's just no frills. I just really like this little microphone. It's a good one. Now let's talk about some of the features that this mic has over the Video Micro. Those are the two that I'm kind of comparing it with. The Video Mic NTG, I feel is kind of that next level and you would need to use it uh, a little bit different than the Micro. The Micro, I just chucked in my bag. It just kind of lived there. And when I needed a good microphone for either ambient audio or if I'm doing like a vlog where I'm within 18 inches of the camera, that mic just worked exceptional. Also, I did take it to Africa with me, the Video Micro, and I did some interviews and random things, and I didn't even have to mic up people uh, to be able to hear what they were saying because I was within just a few feet of them. And uh, it worked 
it worked really well. And that's kind of what I was looking for in a microphone opposed to the video mic NTG that I had to make sure was charged and had to make sure the buttons didn't get pushed and, and all of these different things. Uh, one thing that is really cool with this one, this video mic go to is they've incorporated some of the features of the video mic NTG into this microphone via the USB C. Now you can plug this into a computer, you can plug it into a phone or an iPad, and you've got a digital microphone built in ready to go. I have actually been using this for voiceovers where I will just, I have a, my, uh, an iPad stand and I will attach my cold shoe mount microphone right into there and use a USB-C cable right into my iPad. And I've got a little voiceover studio that sounds really good and I can just read through the script right on the iPad. Very convenient. Your face is pointing towards the microphone and it sounds exceptional. Now, when you're in USB-C mode, when you're not using the headphone jack to go into your camera, there's a lot of the features of the video mic NTG that are incorporated, like the, uh, you know, some of the filters and some of the gains and different things like that. You can adjust all of that in the Rode app, which if you're gonna buy this mic, something you might wanna check out. So those are really nice features to have built into this. But when you plug into the headphone jack, you, uh, you lose all of those features essentially, and it becomes a dummy mic, just like the video micro, which I personally like. There's no settings to get messed up. You have your camera settings and that's it. And so chances are you're gonna get some good audio that way. Now, um, when it comes to the two microphones, as far as sound quality, uh, I would like to compare the Rode Video Mic Go 2 and the Rode Video Micro, because these are uh, these sound a little bit different. And from my personal perspective, I've noticed that this one sounds a little bit thinner. This one sounds a little bit more full, very similar to the NTG. And in, in all honesty, for a hundred bucks, it's definitely worth the upgrade over the $60 microphone. So what I'm gonna do is put together a little bit of a, um, Kind of a rig and show you how i have this mounted up and then uh we're just going to compare the two right next to each other okay so we got the microphone set up here and <laughs> this is a little wonky setup here i've got uh this road bracket that i used to use for the wireless go is that you take two of them and you put it into a splitter and it go left and right but you don't have to do that anymore with the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones so what i have here on the one channel is the Rode video mic go to and then on the other channel i have the rode video micro and basically what i'm doing is using the wireless go to packs left and right channels one is uh one mic and one is the other and uh so basically this i'm using this setup because this is the setup that i typically would use like right now you can see i've got this hanging dangling cable this was a, a deity d4 duo microphone that we were using right before uh, we swapped over into one of these wireless go to packs so this is the setup that i use pretty much for all of my audio because then i don't have to mess with cables running back to the camera i can put the microphone wherever i want and we're good to go so what you're getting to see is just a little bit of a change from left to right. All I'm doing is just uh, panning and putting video micro on one side and you can kind of see the difference. Next step is I'm gonna hang this above my head in a typical like setup that I would use so that you can hear how these microphones sound. Okay, so now we have it set up. I've got a C stand right here coming down with the two microphones right above my head. This is a typical setup that I will do. Uh, just a pro tip, the way that these microphones are gonna sound the best is if they are close to your subject. And you wanna have them point kind of down in here uh, so that they catch the voice going through. You don't wanna point them directly at your mouth because then you're gonna get that wind sound. And so uh, I've got these right above my head and uh, you can kinda hear the difference between the Rode Video Micro and the Rode uh, Video Mic Go 2. Uh, there's a couple really nice features that I love about the Rode Video Mic Go 2. Uh, uh, one thing on the capsule itself shows you exactly where to place the shock mounts. I think that's a nice little feature that wasn't on uh, even the NTG. Uh, then the other thing is that with this new shock mount, with my setup, when you're using this wireless Go 2s, you can actually plug it onto the back of the sliding cold shoe mount. 
and so uh, I don't have to mount it to the side of the wireless micro shock mount or anything like that. I can actually put it underneath and it's just a really clean setup to have a wireless boom mic setup. Um, yeah, so what do you think? Which microphone do you like better? I'm comparing these two because I really think that these two are the ones that you need to be considering. The Rode uh, VideoMic NTG, I don't know, it's just, it's just so extra. And uh, I just decided that I don't, I don't really ever use it that much because I'm worried about the USB-C battery going dead or one of the buttons getting hit in the mix of a hustle and bustle of a wedding day. Um, yeah. Other thing that you need to consider if you're looking at the Rode um, video mic go to is you're gun, gonna wanna upgrade this thing. Now, if you're outside at all, this thing is not gonna work well. It will work for like, like breaths and things like that, but if you wanna go outside, you need to spend the extra 29 bucks and pick this thing up. Um, I, I literally just bought it and got it the other day and it's just been basically living on there. Now, if you're gonna use these inside, go ahead and take off the, the dead cats uh, because there is no better cat than a dead cat. At the end of the day, like these are gonna sound better without the windscreens, but you uh, you know you need them when you're outside. As far as build quality, this thing is is just as good quality as any of the other windscreens that I've used. All right, so what do you think? What are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you li prefer the micro? Is that worth the money more? What are your thoughts? I would love to hear you, um, kind of your perspective on all of these microphones. I know they're confusing, but you have to come up with new generations in order to kind of kind of maximize all of that technology that's just booming right now. All right, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave me comments on your thoughts on these two microphones, and we'll see you in the next one.